Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on finding the area of a triangle using two lengths and an angle not included between the two sides. We want to find the area of this triangle here. Now in the previous video we saw how we could find the area of a triangle if we had two sides, let's call them A and B, and the angle between them, let's call it capital C. The area of that triangle was equal to half times the product of the two sides, so AB, times the sine of the angle between them. And remember, this angle is called the included angle because it's the angle between the two sides of interest. So that was our formula from before. Now the problem is, is that this angle here is not between the two sides of interest. Actually, these are the two sides we're given and we don't have the angle between them. Now there's different ways we can do this, but I think the easiest way is to try and find what is this angle between the two sides. So that would then be the included angle of these two sides. And the way we can do that is to use the sine rule first to try and find this angle. Now remember how the sine rule works. We have a side and angle opposite pair, and then we have look a side and angle possible pair. So we can find this angle first. I'm just gonna call this angle, I don't know, X. So the way the sine rule works, do you remember the sine rule for finding unknown angles? It was sine capital A over A is equal to sine capital B over B. So let's just use what we've got here. The sine of the angle, so sine of X over the length of the opposite side, so 4, is equal to sine of the other angle, so sine of 86 over the length of the opposite side, which is 5. So we've got this equation, we want to try and get x on its own, so we're going to multiply both sides by 4 to get rid of that over 4. So sine of x is equal to times that by 4, it just affects the top of the fraction, so you get 4 sine 86 over 5. And then we need to do inverse sine of both sides to get rid of that sign and to just leave x. So x is equal to inverse sine of 4 sine 86 over 5. If I do that on my calculator, I get 52.94444. Let's not round too much early on because we've got to still do further calculation. We don't want to get a rounding error. So if we've got this angle here, 52.9444, then we've got this angle and this angle, and therefore we can just do 180 minus these angles to get the remaining angle. So this angle here, we call it theta. The angle theta is just 180 minus the other angle, so minus the 86 and minus the 52.9444. And that is 41.0556 degrees. So right, we've got this angle here, and now we've got everything we need for this formula here, because we've got two sides and the included angle, the angle between them. So therefore, the area will be half times the product of the two sides, so five times four, times the sine of the included angle, the angle between them, which is 41.0556. And if I shove that all into my calculator, that gives me 6.6 .6, uh, if it's to one decimal place, and that's going to be in centimeters squared. So that is the final answer.